Ask me Whoa. What, look at, at, yeah, ask me what I'm doing. I'm looking at that bottle of wine. Oh, yeah, I was just having a little jug, a little sip by the fireplace. You want some? Uh, with Marilyn? <laughs> That's a nice painting, Thank Bert. you. Thank you. I did that. I bet I dated it. No, I didn't. I did that some years, many years ago. It's so pretty. Yeah. That, was a, that was an oil painting nice I did out, out on the street. So today is freezing. It's so cold. It and is I, freezing. I am, I am a little bit behind on some of my tasks, and one of them, unfortunately, was installing this fireplace which I bought for about 60% of the original price. Cause you know why? Why? Cause I'm smart. I bought it, <laughs> I bought it in the spring. Oh, very good. And they were trying to get rid of them. It was a floor model, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it matches your dresser perfectly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is put, put a hole down there. And if you look down here, look at this. I, I didn't remember what I had brought from the farm, but apparently I got everything I need. Oh, here. good. So, yeah. So that's to get through the wall awesome. so I can do my professional install so I don't blow us up. Oh, well, okay. <sighs> nice work. Man. While it's freezing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to go get a tank and bring it up here, too. Put on the other side of here. Cute haircut. Thank you. My daughter did it. I know. She's so good. Bless you. <coughs> you got the COVID? I got the bed, man. Bless you. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, don't, we're not allowed to joke. <laughs> YouTube will shut us down. Misinformation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's racist. Ixnay. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I have done is I have drilled a pilot hole. That's funny. Oh, ow. Stuff is falling on my head. <laughs> With this long bit, I've drilled ow, through the wall and uh, I out the other side. So now I will do uh, a one inch bit or as big as I have here to uh, fit my pipe through there. Okay, I've done the uh, larger hole now and I'm gonna use the bit to kind of rotate out some of that uh, insulation and now I'm going out to the outside here and I'm going to carefully drill now I've, I've steered clear I made my measurements so I was well below this outlet to steer clear of any wiring and it's good to use your ultrasound device or what have you to make sure there's no wire that you're going to hit but i also wanted to have it below this lap you know here as low as possible now i'm not going to go all i'm not going to get real aggressive with this uh, whoops i'm just going to penetrate the wall and that is all i'm not saying to do this yourself this is not a good don't do this yourself Hire a contractor. That's what those gas people are there for. This is just, call this an emergency situation. Now I'm going through the sheathing above the bottom plate. Boy, if you hit the bottom plate, you're in, you're in trouble. You can't, it's not much you can do. You can't really go through that. insulation and I'm I'm just I can feel my the bottom plate with the with the my pinky right down there I'm just gliding right above it with my gas line oyster shell marks the spot okay. I'm already hearing sirens it's uh, so getting the temperatures dropping so quickly that uh, People are out driving around, and that's that's always a problem. It gets when we get weather like this. Now, look, I'm just going to use this little very fine piece of cutlery to clear the insulation around this uh, pipe that I'm pushing through. 
You might not be able to see it, but I see it here. Okay, got that through. Now, did I mention that this is an emergency situation and thus it will be temporary in terms of the uh, tank placement? So. There we are. I have to vacuum out that line in case I got any insulation in there. I should have taped taped it over, but I'll just I'll pull that head off and vacuum everything out. <laughs> Extra gas parts. This is when it is good to have extra gas parts. Makes me very happy. Let's see. I even have a splitter. That's great. Don't need that right now. Good to keep this all closed up so little bugs don't go inside these orifices. I've made sure that's clear and uh, it looks like there was some regular white plumbing Teflon on here. I'm going to redo this with some gas tape and uh, make sure that I'm going to make sure that none of this is going into the line and fouling up the burners, the orifice in there. All right, so here we go. And this attachment here you know how these go backwards you screw them backwards like that you don't need any thread because you got a you got a gasket or o-ring rather and i should i should say tape thread tape don't need it all right so that's set up now this of course down here in, in hindsight yeah you don't need tape right here because this is a uh, what do you call it flare and uh, here you need it because there's it's just raw pipe and it'll go about like that and we'll caulk that in to place but I should be ready to go now let me say one more time hire a pro to do this, this is temporary kind of not not great aesthetically but just to get through the ice storm and then I'll run this tank to a tank downstairs somehow. I'll have to plumb it in maybe with an iron pipe, galvanized pipe. But uh, yeah, hire a pro and uh, make sure everything's safety first, you know, make sure everything's right. And read the comments below. I'm sure they're going to be some very polite uh, gas plumbers that uh, want to leave comments and helpful suggestions for stuff like this. Probably mostly they'll be saying leave it to the pros. <laughs> cold that I'm making some chili. Now there's some beef. Mmm, mm, beef bouillon. Mm, little so, roast beef. Found a can of, of roast beef that we have sitting around. And we've got some burger. Brownie. Looks like I have to straighten out the uh, logs. Woman! Woman, come quick! What? Woman, come! Where are you? In the, in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> we have fire. Wow, wow, so pretty. Isn't that nice? Yes. It feels so good in here. <laughs> I was just thinking Feels about it. Feels a little hot in here. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. I guess we'll have to get those hats out of there. Will they catch fire? I don't think so. It's not hot right there. It's hot right here. Not right here. Wait, where's the chimney? <laughs> okay, now we need, you know what we need? A, a chimney. A, a humidifier. <laughs> Exactly. This is a George Duro work of art. Yeah, this is totally cool. 
It's a, he was a New Orleans artist, interesting guy. I met, he used to live right a block away from where I was a bartender. And also I worked at a newspaper and they gave me this lithograph. I think it's quite valuable. Yeah, it's very cool. Newspaper where I worked and I guess we had that in to take a picture of it. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing, Smiley? <laughs> it's pretty out there. Pretty cold. It's pretty cold out there. Okay. There we go. So warm and cozy. And that right there is why we needed that. <laughs> telling you. So weird. Look out there. Look how frozen it is. I brought home a uh, golf cart and it was so cold. Golfsicle. The golf, it had turned into a golf sickle on the way home. So. Mm -hmm couldn't even get it off of there. Yeah, when we have snow in this part of the world, it's not, uh, look how thick that ice is. It's not pretty and pleasant like uh, like up north. <clears throat> it's, it's off quite often an ice storm, and uh, it's very bad to have a half an inch of ice on road surfaces and stairs and sidewalks. Unfortunately, a lot of a lot of mayhem and injury is brought to us by this kind of weather. Uh, but it will soon pass. <clears throat> I covered up my favorite palm tree out there and hope the others will do well. Look at that. It's a half inch of ice. And of course, we were very concerned that uh, we would lose power because these limbs tend to break in these temperatures when they're laden with ice and they fall on power lines, trees, limbs, etc. And that's the real danger. This is how you warm up to Wait. get to your workout. Halfway from 50 to 60. I wish I wish I was halfway to 60. <laughs> You're just kicking butt at almost 60. <laughs> 